expecting Corey? Uh, yeah, he, uh, he's recovering from Best Friends Day. Well, I, I totally wasn't supposed to shoot today. I wasn't yeah, to I know. Well, we can't find Corey anywhere because, you know, he's probably passed out somewhere. Hi, I'm Andrew Cawthorn. And I'm Bridget Petrine, and you're watching Mashup. And I guess we'll find Corey later today, but he needs to sleep it off. Richmond is full of alleys, and some of them get a lot of use. One on Alley in Chaco Bottom, for instance. Who hasn't walked through it on the way to Alley Cats? And who hasn't noticed that it's definitely seen better days? Luckily, a local group has decided to do something about it, and that means a big festival this weekend. Listen up and find out how you can help clean, paint a mural, or just party to celebrate. We all got together because we didn't have a place to show our work. There weren't enough galleries, and we wanted to do more shows, so we started to think, where could we show? Look, there's some beautiful spaces in Richmond that are uh, just these beautiful walls and alleys, but the alleys are, are pretty dingy and uh, kind of gross and weeds everywhere, so we decided, okay, let's try it on one. It was such a big success that we came down here to Walnut Alley. So we just started developing the project and saying, hey, what can we do to, um, to do both, not just to display art and music, and, but also what can we do to really clean up the alley and make a practical difference and um, at the same time get people to Shackle Bottom. With all of the organizations that are around the area, the business owners, we all collaborated our efforts to try to just make a go of Arts in the Alley. But Saturday, August 23rd, we're going to uh, have a complete renovation or cleanup of the alley. We're going to get rid of all of the weeds and we're going to scrub down the walls, we're going to uh, get rid of all of the trash, we're even going to suck up all of the uh, glass that's in the alleyways and just make it uh, truly sealed and ready to go for the events of Sunday. Sunday, August the 24th, is the main event, which is going to be Arts in the Alley. And right here throughout Walnut Alley as well as the Alley Cats Alley. We're going to also hold an art show while bands are performing. So it's going to be a, a lot of fun, but there's also going to be a lot of work going on. So we're going to um, completely make it a truly walker-friendly and family-friendly venue. We hope that um, this will be a place that people can respect later on. Uh, we, we clean it up, hopefully it'll stay clean, hopefully we'll um, have people recognize that there are locations for the trash cans and that this is a place that uh, people want to uh, be a part of the neighborhood and just not an afterthought. I'm definitely planning to help with the cleanup Saturday, and you can too by going to richmondartsinthealley.com. You can sign up for morning, afternoon, or all day. And be sure to come down Sunday from 10 to 5 for live music, mural painting, and a great big street festival. The group hopes to continue hosting Arts in the Alley events all around the city. So if you know of an alley that deserves a facelift and a festival, get involved and let Arts in the Alley know. Here's our act fact for the day. Is there anyone alive in RVA who hasn't enjoyed the organist's performance before a Saturday night movie at the Bird? But do you know just how much is involved once the organist presses those keys? We got to go behind the scenes to meet the man who makes all those amazing sounds possible. And it's a lot more complicated than you think. Look at this. It's all acoustic. There are no speakers, no amplifiers, microphones, nothing like that. Uh, the bass drum, there's a real bass drum, there's a real cymbal, xylophone, glockenspiel, uh, the trumpet is all pipe. Um, you'll see strings, a clarinet, and it's all played from the console. We call this a uh, blower and it puts out 22 and a half inches of static wind pressure. What this does is just provides the, uh, all the wind power to um, activate all the pneumatics, little bellows inside of all the chests throughout the entire organ. Behind me here is the uh, what we call a trap assembly for the organ. It provides different novelty effects that were used with si accompanying silent movies back in the 20s. The pipes are different various sounds uh, based on what the organist wants to use. He pushes a key down here, it gets sent to a relay, which is, and that activates whatever stops sounds he wants to to play and then the keys activate the individual notes. Um, little 
wooden louvers help control the volume of the sound because all the pipes and all the percussions speak at the same volume all the time. This is the original 1928 computer that operated this organ. When the organist presses a key, um, these top units control the uh, different sounds that he wants. And then the bottom units um, help control uh, when he depresses a key downstairs, sends the signal out to the chests and tells the pipes to play. This is the console where the uh, organist controls everything that he wants to play. Robert comes from a family of organists, so organs are in his blood. He's currently restoring the 80-year-old organ, a long-term project that will ensure that visitors to the bird will be enjoying the mighty Wurlitzer for many generations to come. Today's featured poster is Lesson Learned, another horrible art show of new works by Adam Juresco at Chop Suey Books and only through the end of August. And with Chop Suey consolidating its two stores down to just the Carrytown location, you can also score 20% off everything in the old Chop Suey. So you get Adam's art and a great deal on books and a chance to enjoy the old Chop Suey before it's gone forever. Andrew, aren't you the master of the mixtape? Well, I wouldn't say master, but, you know, I know a thing or two. Well, I know about an upcoming exhibit that you're going to want to know more about. Really? Mm-hmm. Where can I find out about it? Friday show. Friday show, of course. <laughs> Until then, I'm Andrew Cawthorn. And I'm Bridget Petrini. Seriously, can you just tell me now? Because I kind of like mixtapes. No. It's going to be there. Exactly. But we don't, we don't want to make the people not want to be there. No. Because all the people that hate me, they're not going to want to be there now. Andrew, aren't you the mixtape Why master? are you yelling at me? Because I thought this would look. You're like, hey! <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Look at this, I love it. Come on, work we with me here. Look at you, I'm sorry. <laughs>